So guys, I am back here at Ron Hoover. I wanna show you a fifth wheel that they have here that I absolutely love. So this is a Cameo, it's by Crossroads. This is a very, very large unit. It is super, super nice. And when I take you inside this unit, you'll see why. Let's look at some of the numbers on it first. So this one has a 2,718 pound cargo capacity and the gross vehicle weight rating of this unit is 15,400 pounds. So it's a heavy unit, but it's not that heavy. But this has a really cool feature about it that I think you are absolutely gonna love. This does not have a drop frame design, but it sits higher above the frame. So the opening for the storage is massive. It really, really has a huge, huge storage area. I'd probably say the width from that point to that point is roughly five feet. Looks like it's about three feet high. And the little overhang area here is, shoot, probably about five inches. So it doesn't have that big of a step above the frame. Because of that though, it's gonna sit a little bit higher because again, the frame sits a little lower than the bottom of the unit. Still a very, very, very large storage area. And they put it on nice hydraulic shocks as well. So very easy to open and close. A unit like this is gonna come with auto leveling. So this does have the ground control level up system has an upgraded pin box. This uses the Trail Air Rotoflex pin box by Lippert. It gives the head the ability to pivot back and forth to control trucking. That in conjunction with an upgraded suspension system is definitely gonna help the way it feels when you're towing it behind a truck. This utilizes the Cree 3000 suspension system from Moride. Has a 12 inch I-beam frame And you can see here how the ground control 3.0 system actually attaches. It uses a welded on bracket and then it has several holes that you can use to adjust the overall height of the ground control leveling jacks when they're installed. And that's really designed for different types of RVs that need that flexibility. Let's look at the storage compartment from the passenger side. Again, hydraulic jacks. Here's your 50 amp cable. Huge, huge opening. Let's see if I can try to get a good shot of just how large this is. Massive, massive opening. If I had to probably say, comparatively speaking, it's probably the size of probably a queen size bed. Maybe a little wider than that. Propane tanks on each side. This does have the Lippert solid step, fixed steps, very similar to the Moride step above. Let's walk inside this unit. So here's a living area. This is a rear living room unit. Not that different from other rear living room units. Island in the center, dinette, theater seating, as well as a sofa in the back. Has what looks like a 55 inch TV in here, electric fireplace, full-size residential Samsung refrigerator, has the upgraded cooktop, so really nice stove, really nice oven. And they're separate units, so it's not that one single unit. Three burners, but you get much more cooking surface for each burner. Full-size residential convection microwave. Nice woodwork, nice craftsmanship. I like how they use the contrasting wooden trim to cover up the seams. Really nice. You know, a lot of fifth wheels are starting to remove these end tables from the sofa area, and I really like them. And if you have a fifth wheel with them, you realize that you really can't have one without them. It's just a nice place to put your phone, put your drink, whatever you actually have with you while you're sitting on the sofa. And I'm seeing a lot of fifth wheels move away from including those even some of the really expensive ones. Thomas Paine collection. I know it sounds really fancy and that's a nice name, which they do make good furniture, but Thomas Paine is owned by Lippert, which is pretty much the universal supplier of parts for new RVs. Balances above the windows look really nice. Here's your control panel right over here. It's gonna give you all your slide controls, awning controls. It has two awnings which we'll show you when we go back outside. 
all your water heater controls, lighting. This unit doesn't have the generator installed, but it does have the controls for a Cummins own and generator. Really nice. So it's already prepped, ready to go. All you need to do is put the generator in or have them include it when you purchase it. Gives you a huge, huge little area here for whatever you wanna put here. It is designed for your washer and dryer setup, but if you don't use a washer and dryer, it just gives you a lot of extra storage. This closet is probably, I'd say about two feet deep by about two and a half feet wide. And they put a nice door on it too. But the thing that will really blow you away about this unit is moving to the bedroom. Check this out. So you have two massive opposing slides. One which houses the king size bed and another one which houses your wardrobe, your TV, an additional fireplace. But look at the sitting area up front. It has this large sofa style, I guess buffet seating area, and then this nice shelf here. And the entire front of this unit is a windshield. Now, I know people who are critical about this are gonna say, what if you break the windshield? What if a rock hits it? Of course, that could happen and you would probably have to get it replaced. However, if that doesn't happen, it is a beautiful, beautiful addition to this unit to have this massive window up front. If you're in a dark camping ground or most of your campgrounds at night, tend to be pretty dark. This is just really nice, even from a security perspective, to be able to look out the front, and it's heavily tinted as well. Plus you have these blackout curtains which can close in front of it to black it out if you don't want people seeing inside. The other big story here is of course this massive super slide in the bedroom, which gives you a tremendous amount of floor space here. So you have about four feet worth of open space at the end of the bed. King size bed, a lot of headroom here. I'd say the ceiling in the back here has an overall height of probably about six foot, six foot two inches. Just a tremendous amount of storage here. And then you have more of a traditional closet here at the end for longer hanging clothes. More storage here, more drawers at the bottom, as well as more storage here. Here's your TV counter right here with all of your connections on the back. You'd want to put a swivel mount on here, of course, to actually enjoy watching TV from in here. Just overall, a beautiful, beautiful unit. Now we're going into the master bathroom as a very, very nice size, a little smaller than residential, but as far as overall size shower, it's pretty large. It's about the same size as the shower in our unit. Medicine cabinet very nice size sink area. So the sink itself is relatively compact, which is nice. The spout reaches out really far, so you get water right in the center versus some of the shorter spouts which come back here and you really can't use them very well. Plus a lot of counter space, under counter space, and the toilet is spaced off a good three and a half feet from the sink area, so you have a lot of room here as well. One of my subscribers asked me to show fifth wheels that had larger bathroom areas, and this is definitely one of them. Plus, look at the storage here. Towels, toiletries, whatever you need to put back here. Just a tremendous amount of space in this unit. There is no feeling of being cramped in this bathroom. They put another nice door on the bathroom with a window on it that's frosted. And even the bedroom door has that same frosted style glass on it. But again, this bedroom is massive. Of course, this unit does have dual ACs. And of course, the rear air conditioning system. This unit is gonna have a tremendous amount of LED lighting. Pretty much every area is gonna have concealed LED lighting from above the slides to under the sofa. It really is lit up well at night when you turn all the lighting on. The slides have very nice height to them as well. So. The slide, this bottom portion right here, is probably close to seven feet tall, if not a little taller than that. I like the nice trim pieces they put around the light fixtures as well. And a fair amount of cabinetry up here. So you have a pantry area here. You have three drawers right here. You have more storage underneath the sink. And you can use this area for additional storage as well if you have large pots and pans and maybe put a combo unit here for your washer and dryer. But there's a good amount of storage in this unit. And it has a very bright, very well-lit interior with the windows open. You can just see how large that back window is 
And one of the reasons why you're seeing fifth wheels move to these higher slide heights is mainly because it gives you larger windows. And you're starting to see a lot of the storage area above them disappear to where they used to put cabinets up here in lieu of having larger windows. Overall, it's a beautiful unit. Now this unit is gonna have a small outside kitchen. Complete with compact refrigerator, has a nice cooktop area here, and a storage area up here. You could put a TV, you could put something in here if you'd like. This Cameo actually has the same LED lights on the back that I installed on our fifth wheel. Your 50 amp connection point is back here, as well as a two inch trailer receiver. You know, I'd be really interested to hear what you all think about this unit. It's a little bit different floor plan than most rear living room, especially with that massive front window out front. Let's take a look at that real quick from the outside. So here's the front windshield that you see from the master bedroom right above that little sofa buffet area. Very, very nice. Huge, huge window. The model of this unit is the 3631 RL, as in rear living room, and it has a three-year structural warranty on it. And here's a shot of both awnings. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the brief tour of this Crossroad Cameo. I think it just has an outstanding rear living room floor plan to it. It's very nice. I will put the price in the video description. So if you're interested in looking at this particular unit, you have an idea of how much it costs. Anyways, guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we will be back soon.